Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. But today's video is going to be a nursery tour of my son's nursery. He is eight months old, but we moved into this house when he was three or four months. So I got to put it together after he was born, which I feel like was somewhat harder to do than before he was born because I wanted the nursery to match his personality. But I wanted to mention that this nursery is very affordable. A lot of the things either we gathered from around our home we repurposed things and we also did more budget friendly items so i just want to let you guys know that you do not have to break your bank in order to create a fun nursery for your little ones i will have everything linked down below that is in his nursery if things are still available but his nursery is very minimal it is trendy i guess and i really wasn't going through going for a specific theme but you will see a theme throughout the video it was not on purpose i don't want to ramble on too much so let's go ahead and jump into the tour so i will give you guys like a general overview of the room first i am standing at his door right now and he has a jack and jill bedroom with our daughter she's two years old so this door right here goes into their bathroom and i'll do like a really quick tour of the bathroom but this is the general overview of his room so first up we're gonna head into the bathroom so like i said this is a jack and jill and he splits it with my daughter peyton the little front section here they have a double sink and even though Peyton's the only one brushing her teeth, we usually have her toothbrush in here, but lately we've been brushing her teeth wherever she's happiest. <laughs> and he has baking soda baths every night because of her eczema, I should say. So we just have a glass canister here with some baking powder in it, her baking soda. We have one little towel here that matches with the rugs on the floor. I wanna say everything from the bathroom is from Target. So this is from Target. Those little hand towels from Target. These rugs are from Pillow Fort. I believe this is from Target as well. I bought this last year though. And then their little toilet, or not toilet, trash can. And this is probably like my favorite little thing in the bathroom. So this picture here we got from Home Goods, or I got from Home Goods for $20. I love it. I know they have like different variations of this. So check out your Home Goods or TJ Maxx. These little towel hooks here are from Hobby Lobby with various different towels and I will have these linked down below if you're interested. This one is an infant towel and I love it. It's super super soft. I actually shared this in my baby boy newborn haul I think when I was pregnant with him and we love it. It's super soft on his skin and then we do have the diaper caddy in here. No not diaper caddy. I can't talk. The diaper bin in here from Ubi which we have two. We have one in the garage and then this one up here for both the kids. So yeah this is the bathroom. Just super simple clean nothing crazy going on in here. And then moving on to this little wall here. So being a boy mom, I of course had to kind of, I wouldn't say go all out, but I wanted to have like a hat wall, so to speak. When we had Peyton, we had like a bow rack for her and all that fun stuff. So we just have two little hats for him. But I love these little hooks that I found on Amazon. They're super cute and they'll go with so many different themes depending on what you're thinking about doing. But we have the peace sign, hang loose, and the thumbs up. And then of course I just hang his little hats there. So a fun little feature. And then headed into his closet, there's nothing special. But I wanted to show you some of the organization pieces as well because I feel like that's super helpful when getting a nursery prepped. We have these hanging towers, I guess you would call them, hanging bins. My daughter has them as well. Peyton has it in her closet, which it's just blankets and hers. We have so many blankets that were made for her when we had, but his, we have these little clear bins. I think I found these ones at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and they're perfect for storing like the little socks. I have his um, beanie in here. And then these little swim trunks, you guys, are like the freaking cutest things. These are from Zara. This bin, I actually am storing like clothes that no longer fit him. So we'll just throw clothes in there and then eventually I add them to my Poshmark. And I'll have my Poshmark 
information on the screen and down below if you want to check out all of our kid clothes that are listed right now. Up here we have all of the spare diapers. Peyton has all the spare wipes in her room actually. And then of course we have the baby hangers. I love the ones with the felt because they do a really good job at keeping everything in place. Everything's so tiny. And I love these dividers, especially when they're so little. I feel like you just stack in so many different sizes. So it's helpful to have the dividers to see what you have in stock, so to speak, for your little one. And down here, we just have a little baby book that was gifted to him from my baby sprinkle. We have a bin here and I have all of his little stuffed animals and loveys. This is from Target and I highly recommend. Peyton has one as well, but she has the three by two. I felt like he didn't need as much. So these bins are from the, the container store as well as the clips. And I love labeling things because I feel like it really helps not only yourself, but like other people in your home keep things organized. So his first one is burp cloths. Then we have swaddles or now it's sleep sacks. He's not wearing swaddles anymore. Shoes and extra bedding. And we just have a little hamper here that I found at TJ Maxx. Moving on to this little section of the nursery. This is his changing station. So we call Calvin Bubby. I found a Etsy seller that was willing to make that for us. And I love it. I think it's just the perfect little addition for over his changing table. This is obviously not a very big changing table, but I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I think it's the perfect size for either a smaller room or just like a more minimal look. So we have the just a basic changing pad on top. This really cute, I think it's from Little Unicorn, changing pad cover. And then moving into the drawers, we have his diapers and all of his lotions and potions. He has tons of things for his eczema just to keep it at bay. But these little bins are from Target and we have various things in here. Wipes, this little um, container here is from the container store. And we just have various things from hand sanitizer, diaper rash cream, nose Frida. Moving on to the bottom drawer, onesies, shorts, pants, and sleepers. That's what he's currently wearing. And then the very bottom drawer are just the next size up and it's basically just sleepers. This little corner of the room is probably my favorite. So you can't tell because of the window, but these are a velvet navy blue curtain. They really do a great job at darkening the room and just adding a subtle pop of color. This mobile I absolutely fell in love with when I was pregnant with Peyton. So this was actually from her original nursery. So we repurposed that in here and I love it hanging over the nursing chair. This nursing chair is incredible, you guys. We bought it off of Wayfair and it is so freaking cozy. It extends out and maybe I'll sit in it so you guys can see. So you guys aren't probably gonna be able to see, but I am a more petite person. I'm 5'2". So I wanted to make sure I found something that was going to be comfortable. And I basically bought this off of the reviews on Wayfair. One of the main things I love about this nursing chair is that it's the perfect angle for your arm to rest on. It's not too high it's not too low so that when you're nursing the baby's head is like literally laying perfectly and I never felt like I was straining to hold him when nursing him or her he is eight months old and we're still going on our breastfeeding journey right now so as he's getting heavier um, this has been great for resting my arm when nursing now this does swivel and it does have a um, it's a glider I guess I shouldn't say rocker it's a glider and it does kick up the front the only thing is that when the legs are kicked up you can't rock if you're curious the blanket draped over is actually a gift from the hospital we had him in this is from pottery barn um, from a while ago I don't think they still have it but you may be able to find it off of like eBay or Poshmark this little table I love just to have on the side for putting my phone or a glass of water what have you we have this little lamp from Target, my favorite sound machine of all time. It's incredible. I've talked about it in various videos from my baby favorites and other things like that, but it's by Electrofan and there I believe is 25 different sounds. You have fan sounds and white noises, so you can find the perfect sound for your baby. We have a little Google Home out there for playing music and what have you. And then this is what the corner over here 
looks like. So this shelf is from Target. The C is from Restoration Hardware. It was on major sale. But you can find those anywhere, Hobby Lobby. The little Hobbs. So Calvin and Hobbs is my grandma's favorite comic series. She bought Calvin a little Hobbs for Christmas. So we have that up there. Sweet little newborn picture. He was 24 hours old there in the hospital. The picture frame is from Target. And then his baby book, which I am obsessed with. Peyton has the same one, but only different. And I'll just give you a little glimpse into this. I need to add majority of the photos, but I have started filling it out. A little area you can fill out where it says, we'll never forget, you can, you don't like, you love, and yeah so and you can also fill out the holidays when they first laughed waved haircut etc so we just have some ultrasound pictures in here love this highly recommend if you're in the market for a baby book this blanket ladder we've had for years we just repurposed it for in here it's obviously holding all of his blankets and swaddles the first two are from Lulu and Company. These are by far my favorite swaddles of all time. We have Vaseline stains on there, but they are super thick and very comfortable, soft. This one is from Sarah Noni. This was Peyton's when she was a baby. This was a gift, Nordstrom baby swaddle and Nordstrom blanket that was Peyton's when she was a baby. This little rocking giraffe was a gift to Kelvin when he was born. This was, uh, I believe, from Pottery Barn. And then moving over to the final little area of his room, which I love so very much. The crib is from, I think, Da Vinci, baby. And I love that it was different, how it had the two panels on the side. It's very rustic looking, but minimal. It's not too overboard. It's like a washed white gray with the shiplap on the sides all open we have the nook mattress which i highly recommend it's very like memory foam like and we have a little unicorn crib sheet above the bed we have a picture i want to say this is from target or overstock actually i think i got that from overstock this picture reminded me so much of calvin when i saw it with his little peach fuzz and his blue eyes so i knew it was perfect for over his crib and then this sign right here i had made from a local artist but you can find prints from etsy that you could frame or have someone make you but obviously it just says wild thing you make my heart sing and I absolutely fell in love. It was the main inspiration for his nursery. The last little thing is this little elephant, I don't know what you'd call it, basket. And basically I just have a bunch of stuffed animals in there. It's nothing crazy, just kind of storing random things at the moment. This is what it looks like from the corner of his room. Anyways, I hear babies crying, so I am going to go help my husband with the babies. I hope you guys enjoyed this nursery tour. If you did, please give a big like. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or just share with me what your favorite part of the nursery was. And I hope you guys stick around and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.